sweet. <laughs> Welcome everyone to this beautiful day. Today, our class will discuss the following case. U.S. law v. Fourier's. So what are the facts of this case? Well, the case concerns members of a group of extraordinary people from five different continents, representing 17 different countries and speaking 13 different languages. I would like you to welcome the graduate ALM class of 2012. changing decision by pursuing an LLM degree in U.S. Legal Studies or Insurance Law at the University of Connecticut School of Law. Most of us embarked on this journey to earning an LLM degree in August of last year. We dared to leave our familiar environment of our home countries and leave our friends and family, some of us coming to the U.S. for the first time. All of us had already been successful law school students, earning a law degree from our home countries. So how difficult could it be to basically just go back to law school? Well, never underestimate the peculiarities of studying at a U.S. law school. Our LLM experience meant so much more than just going back to law school. It meant going on a true journey of learning, understanding, and a great deal about realization of who we are, where we're from, and where we want to go. Our journey has taught us so many valuable lessons, and try as I might, I won't be able to cover all of them. But let me share some of the things that our LLM class has learned. During our first classes, we were introduced to a system that called itself the common law. For most of us, such a system was rather uncommon to our understanding of the law. Moreover, as soon as we approached the U.S. law system, we already felt deceived when we realized that there is not just one U.S. law, but 51 different legal systems in just one country. Many of us were overwhelmed by the diverse information presented to us in our classes, and by the fact that every class required intensive reading and preparation. We also quickly realized that being on call has nothing to do with the functions of our mobile phones. In the beginning, our main concern was not whether we'll be able to give smart answers or not so smart answers to the professor's questions, but rather whether we'll be understand the question in the first place. We pray that we won't be called upon either because we were innocent LLM students no one wanted to subject to the court torture of the cruel methods of the Socratic teaching. Or, just because our names were so difficult to pronounce <laughs> that no one wanted to embarrass us or themselves by putting us on the spot. However, we learned that we cannot escape the on-call system forever. And in those situations, we were slightly preoccupied with dealing with an imminent panic attack, we knew there was always one way out. If nothing helped, we could always try and use the following first. Well, Professor, I'm not quite sure how this issue is resolved in the U.S., but let me explain to you how we deal with this in my country. <laughs> After an overwhelming beginning and a couple of panic attacks later, we were actually able to lift our hats and look beyond textbooks. We realized we were surrounded by a beautiful campus and remarkable people. Our experience at UConn was greatly enhanced by our fellow JD students, who we had the opportunity to learn side by side. Their approach to legal matters was sometimes inspiring and other times incomprehensible, but nevertheless encouraged us to review our own ways of thinking and legal reasoning. Gradually, we became part of the UConn community by visiting the Huskies basketball and football games, although the latter one then spending hours of explaining the basics of football to fellow LLM students before, during, and after the game. <laughs> Equally important is our experience of the U.S. law were the lessons that our LLM journey taught us about life. We were taught valuable lessons about possible global warming and global freezing. We were taught that winter storms do not wait until it's winter to hit Hartford, but instead can cause some normal Halloween experiences. During that time, some of us were able to show up their best survival skills while left without power for a whole week. But besides improving our survival,
survival skills, we foremost realized that we were all part of a truly diverse group of people <coughs> with different origins, different beliefs, ideals, and values. Yet, we quickly came to understand that this diversity should not hold us back, but will bring us closer together. We came to understand the difference is just a matter of perspective, that as long as we acknowledge each other's diversity, we will have a better understanding of ourselves. We accepted that we can't be close friends with everyone, but recognize that as long as we keep an open heart and an open mind, we can learn so much from each other. By getting to know each other, we realize that some of the best lessons of world history and geography are not taught in a classroom, but by being part of a remarkable group of international students. We learn to support one another in difficult times and stand by our newly found friends. Each one of us has brought some unique characteristics to our LM group. We were able to witness them during our adventurous trip to New York and Washington, D.C., during our numerous cultural get-togethers, enjoying our amazing or not so amazing cooking skills at our potluck dinners, or honoring international traditions such as Sinterklaas and Carnival. By the end of our LM program, our journey became one of personal growth, of maturity, of breaking through language barriers, of big adventures. None of that would have been possible if it weren't for our family, friends, and loved ones. Some of them are able to join us here today. We would like to thank you for letting us go on this journey in the first place, and for your love and support all the way to the end. None of our experience would have been as inspiring if it weren't for the law school itself, its faculty, its staff, and its director and assistants of the graduate and international legal programs. We were all learn by your kindness, dedication, and understanding accompanying us through our studies. Today, our LM experience will come to an end, and with it, hopefully, our struggles with US law. Some of us will stay here in the US, some of us will return to our home countries to continue our law careers there. As our journey comes to an end and our future seems uncertain, there's just one thing I am certain about. We may wander off to the different places in the world, but our experience here, together, may well stay with us for the rest of our lives. I urge you to savor your memories of this LM experience, the good and the bad ones, and cherish your friendship you have made here. For me, my experience here will always have a special place in my heart. I realize that I can't really know where I want to go without appreciating where I have been and what I've experienced here. Let us never forget that it were our differences that brought us closer together, personally and professionally. This day, we will not say goodbye, but send out our invitations to each other that in the future, we will meet again, whether it be in Paris, Berlin, Rome, Quito, Beijing, Moscow, Amsterdam, Riyadh, Madrid, Kiev, New Delhi, Buenos Aires, Cairo, Brasilia, Ankara, Kinshasa, Lima, Hartford, or Augustine's Bar. Thanks very much.